Oh, it's the Doria and Zarbon. You know, all honesty, I don't think these two stand a uh, re even remote chance against this version of Goku and Vegeta. Because obviously while Goku doesn't have his, you know, Zenkai boots from the Ginyu fiasco yet, this is technically a Goku and Vegeta that have the gravity chamber training. And all honesty, they'll probably be stronger than they were in the main timeline at this point. Because obviously when Goku did the gravity training initially, he did it by himself, but in this timeline, he did it with Vegeta a high quality training partner so I would imagine Goku would probably be strong enough to absolute blitz first form freeze at this point and I'm not sure if he'd be strong enough to uh, take down second form but I imagine you still give him a good run for his money it's probably when Frieza goes up to third and fourth and he'll have trouble but anyways uh let's jump right into it all right what do you two got for me oh Dory's up first all right ow 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 hey Dory can you stop that that's Vegeta's technique Sir? Sir. Alrighty, let's just get into it. Because again, yeah, like Dory, unfortunately, you do not stand a chance. I think it's always funny when the CPU just fall like a rock like that. It's always hilarious. Like, you guys do know you can recover, right? But, anywho. Bop, 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 bop. Wait, how did I just do that? I did his explosive, not explosive, uh, spirit explosion as they call it in Gamers 2. How do I do that? But anywho. Pop. Kaioken. Alright, pop, 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 da, do. No, sir, I do not want to use the spirit bomb just yet, because I don't think I'll need it, especially not against these two. Because I imagine after this would be the Ginyu Force, right? I mean, who else would Frieza send after his two aides? Because obviously he's elite soldiers. Because does Frieza really have anybody else who's really, you know, high tier and named after Doria Zarbon and the Ginyu Force? Not really. Alright, the, right, the Doria, you need to just calm down, buddy. You are literally one tap. The Doria, calm down. The, the Doria. Hey, the Doria, calm down. I, I get it, you're trying to show me how, how, how why you're freeze as A. Y'all can't see. Fedoria, calm down. I said calm down. Okay, good. Now it is Zorbon. You know what? Zor Zorbon, come here. Oh, okay, is this a... Uh, nope, that's just a... Uh, okay, cool. Return fire. Good chunk of damage. You know what? Let's spear follow. Let's just do it. Let's just nuke him. Wait, is that? Nope. Dodge that and pop, 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 pop. Wait, are we in clash? Because I did my. <laughs> no way. That's his. That's his. Uh, his energy volley attack. That's not gonna clash. Oh, Zarbon, you are screwed. Hold this, buddy. You hold this. How the hell did a couple of Saiyans get the strong? Uh, we literally trained at a hundred times gravity. At least I assume that's what they did, because they didn't specifically say what gravity level- Oh, okay, so... Okay, so the interesting, so it's a... Uh, health boss, well, boss on the other die, and then Vegeta just kills him off screen. Okay, cool, that works for me. That works for me, but yeah, but these two did not stand a chance. Like, the only... The only Frieza Force soldier that would probably stand a chance against this Goku and Vegeta would be, yeah, these guys. Specifically Ginyu. I don't think, yeah, Vegeta should easily be able to take out Raccoon in this, in this timeline. And, oh. They're starting with, uh, Ghoul though, just like the main timeline. Okay. <clears throat> Hi. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That, that took me out of it for a second, just a hi! Oh, Goku, never change, buddy. That's why I love you. Like, Gould, I don't understand why you're getting so mad. Goku's generally trying to be nice to you. Like, dude, like, like again, I, like, legitimately, it's probably the only person in the Ginyu Force that would stand a chance against this variation, or should I say, this timeline's Goku is Ginyu. Like, Gould, I know you can stop time and everything, but you're way out of your late weight class, buddy. But, oh, I guess we're doing one at a time. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Ooh, interesting key last school, though. I mean, I haven't really seen any 
Gouldo gameplay just yet, so... Like, I know as of me recording this, I know Syriax uploaded a Ginyu Force video, so... I'll have to check that out after this to see what the Ginyu Forces are really all about. Because imagine in a DT battle, they'd probably be a really fun team to play. Maybe I'm going easy on- oh. Re wait, did I, was, that, was that supposed to kill Gouldo or just do a certain amount of damage? Okay, that was just... okay. Interesting, it's already over. I mean, at least I'm getting good Zenny for this. Alright, what do we got here now? Vegeta, why are you so mad? I'm embarrassing these guys. Arguing that they have no time for fight one-on-one. -on -one. Wait. Wait, v wait, Vegeta, you're literally making me get jumped by the Ginyu Force? Really? Vegeta, why? No, hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll let him cook. Let him cook. I gotta remember it's the Ginyu Force. They're still relevant in this part of the story. So wait, I have to lose 5v1? Oh, this is the other fight then. There was only one other fight in Goku's story I got spoiled on for being kind of difficult, and I, I think it's this one. Mainly because it's a 5v1. Like, there's no breaks, there's no nothing. So my entire health bar is what I got, but I mean, I am mid Goku, so I think I could do this easily. Yeah, especially. Oh yeah, his health reset. It's fine, Ghoul. Though there's no, there's no bell to save you this time from me. Come here. And as I was saying, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is the fight, other fight I was spoiled about, and this is the only other boss I would, well, quote unquote, boss fight. Wait, Prowl is his key blast? That's actually kind of good, Ghoul. Anyways, this was the only other fight I was kind of spoiled about on Twitter, and it's mainly because people are saying, Wow, this is, you think Great at Vegeta's hard? This is even harder because it's a 5v1. But they gotta remember that they literally give you the probably one of the best characters for the situation, base Goku. Specifically, base mid Goku. Alright, Gould, let's get you out of here. Bop. Bop. And Baba Gould. But anyways, in a 5v1 situation, mid-base mid Goku is easily the best character for this. And that's because he has full access to this. Ener gather, uh, give me your energy. Which, in case you guys don't know, increases the power of his Spear Bomb Ultimate. Because obviously he's, you know, charging it up as the fight goes on and it does a lot more damage the more stats he has. And if I remember correctly from all the BT3 videos I've watched, I'm pretty sure he has three charges and then it'll do pretty much one shot any character. So I should be able to do this pretty easily. Hey Raccoon, can you stop standing key blast? But he just right over here. He, he, dude, he'll sue you. But anyways, let's let's actually let's uh let's spear bomb Raccoon. Let's get him out of here. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, Raccoon, he's got hands. Oh, he's, oh, he hit one of those invisible walls. Okay, cool. But, no, this is gonna miss, because Spear has an arc. Yeah, it's gonna go right past him, unfortunately, and bop, ow. Okay, Raccoon, that's, alright, uh, alright. Raccoon's trying to, trying to show that he's the muscle of the Guinea Force. Yeah, you're upset by this? I do not care, Raccoon. Okay, I kinda care. Alright, let's. Try to get him out of here, because I mean, again, Raccoon can just do stupid damage for no reason outside the fact that he's Raccoon. Come here, Raccoon. Nope. Alright, keep this. Good bit of damage. Okay, I think. Yeah, let's charge up the Spirit Bomb again, get ready for Jace. No, it's not Jace up next, it's Birder, that's right. That's the order, because it's Guldo, Raccoon, Birder, Jace, and then Ginyu. I can't remember, I can't remember exactly, because obviously in the main saga, Goku faced both Birder and Jace at the same time. Yo, Raccoon, why you got hands? Okay, I guess sometimes the CPUs decide to turn it on, sometimes they don't. You know what, let's just charge up a double stack just to absolutely one-shot Birder. Because again, I'm kind of starting to get low on health, and I still have three more of these guys to go through. Raccoon, can you please... Raccoon. Raccoon? Raccoon. I get it, you're trying to show you're the muscle of the Ginyu Force, buddy, but you gotta go down. Alrighty. 
Oh, Clash, I messed that up. But I think I should be able to win the match. I did not win the match off. Okay, I, uh, okay, I need to hit the training mode with Pickle a little bit more and work on that. Raccoon, can you please? Raccoon. Raccoon. Raccoon, saddle. Dodge. Alright. Uh, no. Okay, yeah, Raccoon. Kind of, again, showing why he's a dangerous member of the Ginyu Force. Bop. Alright, there he goes. Alright, if I remember correctly, I have a two-stack Spirit Bomb ready to rock and roll, so... Let me get my third stack here, and I should, be, I should probably be able to just actually one-shot Birder here. Up, up. No, Birder. Yeah, that, was a, that was a full power mark, I followed that up with the Spirit Bomb, but... You know what, let's just see for, for you know, scientific purposes how much this will actually do to this guy. Oh, he has hands too. He's trying to show me he's the fastest in the universe, but unfortunately, you are not. You know what, Birder? You, you, I know you're fast and all, but you know what? Run in this full speed. A triple stack spirit bomb. How much is this doing? How much is this doing to him? Oh, he tried to go around it, but he couldn't. And that does... 3,500, so that's what? Three and a half bars? But you know what? My little stack got up again. I got two, three more of these guys. No, two more after the Birder. That's insane. Yeah, I can definitely see why this boss fight's difficult, but I mean, base Goku, uh, this is a mid-base Goku has all the tools for this. Alright, let's get up another one, so we have two stack. Bop, 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 bop. Chase, I need you to settle down, buddy. I still gotta deal with your boss and everything. And Oh, I'm almost... I'm, I'm getting towards my last bar here. Okay, you know what, let's... Let's, let's get it. I don't have the triple stack, but a double stack should probably still do a crap ton of damage. Goku, please launch it. Okay, here we go. I remember that I need to hit the right trigger to use the, my moves. Alright, double stack, spirit bomb, how much does this do to him? Okay, so it says 3700, but it was still probably uh, counting my previous combo. And there is Ginyu. You know, let's try- oh, he's right behind me, isn't he? Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, I'm on the last bar of health. I gotta lock in here. I really gotta lock in, because I really do not want to have to do this again. Okay, we have a single snack spirit bomb now. How much is this gonna do to Ginyu? Nope, can you need to back up? You're too close, buddy. You're too close for the spirit bomb. Alright, knock him up. Alright, how much is this going to do? How much will this do? Um, oh, wow. Two bars. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, that's good damage. Alright, can you let's wrap this up? Oh, wait, can you calm down, buddy? No, no, no. I can't lose this. One, because obviously it's for a reason. Two, I don't want to do this boss fight over again. Ginyu, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Okay, cool. Good night. Good night, Ginyu. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely see why that boss fight would be difficult for most. But again, they give you they technically give you a character that has the tools to essentially blitz through everything. Alrighty. Cool, cool, cool. I imagine up next is Frieza. Yeah, because again, when you really think about it, despite the vast army that he has, he doesn't really have anyone of real note. Oh, <laughs> they try to kill Goku, but Vegeta's like, nah, he's my new homie. Ginyu's only one left. Okay. So now it is indeed Frieza. Yeah, like, Frieza, I know you're looking for open enrollment considering, you know, we killed most of your elite soldiers, but... You know, it's supposed to be chasing Ginyu, came back. Okay, so now we got Ginyu Vegeta. I mean, that makes sense. Now I can know how strong Vegeta truly is, with a first-hand experience. Vegeta! Oh, Ginyu, before exterminating the Earthlings, you should take care of that other Saiyan first. Yes, my lord. That's... Ginyu? 
the hell's going on? Is Vegeta betraying us or what? I'm not sure. But we have to keep on fighting or we're toast. But I mean Yeah, because just like in the main timeline, Ginyu despite having Vegeta's body, shouldn't be any match for Goku. Because of you know the whole uh, not being used to the new body thing, so he can't use its real power. But even if he could use its real power, would I mean he'd probably give him a good fight, but I would imagine Goku would still be able to take on this version of Vegeta. Especially because, you know, Kyle can like this. Do good damage. I, I love using mid Goku. He's so fun. I cannot wait to go Super Saiyan, but yeah. Yeah, special power. I forget that it's like an actual like special power, not like a pure technique that anyone can learn. But all right. All right. No sex, fear, bomb. How much is this gonna do, Vegeta? I'm sorry, I know this is your body and everything, but we gotta regain you from the galaxy forever. How much is this? Does this kill? Yes, it does. <laughs> I think this what if this section of the what if is essentially just what if Goku just essentially nukes the entire the entire Frieza force? Because I know what I'm about to do to you, Frieza. <laughs> oh, I, I'm loving this story mode. If you guys made it this far into the video, make sure you smack the like button. Oh, and then here, of course, we get the uh, swap back. But how do they actually take care of Ginyu? Does Vegeta just go in and do what he normally does and just kill uh, Ginyu, or what does he actually do? Desperate measures. What are you doing, Ginyu? Well, he's trying to swap with Tien. With Tien, of all people, when Goku's literally right behind you. He froze for a second, what happened? Oh, I know I know that voice. Yep, that's Chaozu. So Chaozu is here. Wait, what did Chaozu do? What What did you do, Chaozu? Chaozu, how did you figure that out that you needed a frog? You know what? I'm not going to question it's Chaozu. Chaozu knows all. He knows everything. But right now we got, yeah. Goku versus Frieza 1v1. I mean, me one -on -one. in all honesty, again, this variation of Never Goku would probably be able to absolutely smoke <laughs> first form Frieza, so as long as you don't give him the chance to transform Goku, you can life. easily just smoke him. I'll let you in on something, Kakarot. Frieza's oh, can Vegeta, why did you say that? Why did you well, say that? Someone's done his homework, hasn't he? Like, why, Vegeta? So why would you say that? You know Go what Goku's gonna do. Let's just say He's gonna say, oh, you okay, I'll let you transform then so I can see what you're really you made transform? of. You mean like that great ape stunt you pulled? Great ape stunt. <laughs> you mustn't put me in the same league as your hideous transformation. In yeah, I always find that crazy that all of Frieza's forms are just limiters on his power. I always find that insane. If that's the case, go ahead and transform. Yep. Yeah, Vegeta, why would you say that Frieza can transform? Like, if Goku didn't know that, he probably just went in, blitzed Frieza, and be done with it, but... Alright, you know what? We're not gonna... We're not gonna question it. We're not gonna question it. Frieza, you are so short in this. Like, Goku... Like, I think Goku has a good foot on you yet. Like, it's so funny seeing you so mad at... You're so short. Okay, and he's going to first... Uh, second form. Which, if you guys made it this far into the video, oh, that's that's such a cool voice line for him. But anyways, if you guys made it this far into the video, let me know your favorite. Ow, ow, your favorite Frieza form. Which one is your favorite? Is it first form, second form, third form, fourth form, or golden? Let me know, and I have to walk in now because Vegeta could not keep his mouth shut. Like, I mean, I think Goku could probably still take. I would say this version Goku could probably still take a uh, second form Frieza, but I imagine it'd be a lot closer fight. Yeah, like, for, like first form Frieza probably doesn't stand much of a chance against this version of Goku. Bop. Bop, 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 bop. Bop. Ooh. 
Yeah, actually, I think this Goku probably gets outskilled by a third form. Alright, let's get him. Bop. 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 And then... Kamehameha. Yeah, I would imagine this version of Goku probably gets outskilled by third form and easily, obviously, fourth form. Alright, let's start charging up the bomb. Start charging it up. Hey, Frieza, here's a little sneak peek of what I'm going to do to you. Pick him up, and spear bomb. <laughs> I'm literally turning this what if into what if Goku nuked the entire series of force. You know what? The future editing me, that's going to be the title of this video. Because bye bye Frieza. Wait, is this? Oh, no, okay, so there's no what if Goku just blitz Frieza, so it's a, he's always, always going to survive. Okay. I mean, story context, that, you know, kind of makes sense, but at the same time, it's like, let me kill Frieza before he transforms, like, what if Goku actually had a head on his shoulders and just, you know, took care of business? Yeah, because third form Frieza, I would imagine this is where Goku's going to start having some major trouble. Yeah, because I would imagine that yeah, because if Frieza was stayed in his first or second form, Goku probably could have easily taken him before he actually had a chance. Oh, Roshi's here. Bring Chaozu back home. I mean, at this point, Roshi, Chaozu might as well stay there just to have a little bit extra, extra fighting force. Okay, we got the Sensu Bean, and now we have to deal with third form Freeze, which, yeah, it's, which is, like, kind of expected. Vegeta. Like, I wonder if Goku had his Zenkai boost like he did in the main story. I wonder if he'd be able to take out third form. Well, probably, considering main timeline Goku at this point was, keep, was not exactly keeping up, but he was, you know, keeping pa somewhat pace with uh, fourth form Freeze. So I imagine... Yeah, I imagine Goku probably could have taken out third form Freeze in the main timeline. Yeah, yep. What if, what if Goku just nuked him? He wants to nuke him, and you know what? I respect it. Yeah, we don't have Piccolo here to buy us time for the Spear Bomb. What do you want to do? Vegeta, get in there! Buy me some time! Let me power up the Spear Bomb! Like, Goku, just literally grab Vegeta by his Saiyan scruff and throw him at Freeze, like, get in there! You nor, I have any of you. you nor I have a chance of beating him. Vegeta, get in here and at least, and at least you know, tag team him with me. Oh, we have to fight now. Oh, I, oh, I, I still need to get better at that. And I lost the match. Okay, ow, 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 ow. Okay, this is... Wait, did he get Disposive Wave, or is that an actual just thing? Because I haven't played as any of the Frieza forms yet, even if my, even in my CPU battle. Pop, 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 pop. Okay, can I win this one? Alright, cool, I won this one at least. Yeah, I still gotta get better at that. You know, let's, let's start charging the bomb. Let's get ready to nuke Frieza off the face of the planet. Oh, ow. Ow, Frieza can, Frieza, can you calm down, please? Ooh, okay, okay, we're good. I mean, at least the kind of good thing about this is that I do have to kind of focus. And it is really helping me with my vanishes, which is one of the main reasons why I wanted to do this series, but ow. Frieza, can you calm down? I get your, I get your third form and your, your spam key bus, but can you calm down? Alright. You know what? Let's, yeah, let's charge the max Q and bomb him. Wait, I don't have a... Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Frieza, calm down. Wait, I, Frieza... I, Frieza, do you know what a spear bomb is? I don't seem to have that on my toolkit. I don't seem to have the spear- Yeah, I don't have the spear bomb. What? Okay, I guess, yeah, story mode. He says that I don't have enough time to charge up a spear bomb. So that makes sense, but seriously, what the heck? What am I supposed to do here without my main tool? Man, I got no spear bomb. I got no super saiyan. I got nothing out here. I mean, I might as well just go over there and see if I can beat him up at least. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Nope. Vanish and pop, 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 pop. Ow. Okay, so yeah, I really do feel like I'm in a hopeless battle here against Frieza. So this, they did a wonderful job at this. As much as I love it, I kind of hate it. So in other words, giving your energy is kind of useless because I can't use the spirit bomb. 
Alright, Kyle can. <clears throat> Good damage. Yeah, it really does make you feel that Goku really does need the Spirit Bomb to finish off Frieza. <laughs> you Frieza, get up. Frieza, fr Frieza, get up. Frieza, you okay? Okay, he, he's good. Ow. Wait, wait. <clears throat> and my, my throat's getting dry, he's talking so much. I'm not used to playing like this. I mean, I talk a lot during my Pokemon videos, but not like this. <clears throat> oh, wait. I'm, I wasn't supposed to beat him. I'm just supposed to survive, essentially. My final friend. Oh. It gets oh. Okay, well, Frieza, while you transform, I need to get a step of water here. Oh, that's actually a cool transformation. I've never seen that yet. But oh god, they did not reach out my health for this. Oh no. Frieza, uh, Fri hey, Vegeta. Hate the Senzu Bean? Yeah, let me just hide behind this mountain. Oh, that was, oh. Hey, hey, Frieza, can we, oh, wait, what? Oh, Vegeta. Oh, now you decide to jump in, Vegeta. Now you decide to jump in. Like, buddy, if you jumped in against third form Frieza, Goku would have had the spear bomb ready already. But it's fine. This is the thing from Vegeta now. I should have access to it. Wait. Ow. Okay, we dodged one of them at least. Yeah, I should have access to a... Oh. Now I feel like how Vegeta did on Anik. <laughs> Frieza, did you have to kick away my Galax gun? I mean, you ha kind of have to, yeah. The, you know, shirt dominance. Alrighty. Wait, this is the this is the rush attack. Wait, why didn't you say all oh, because of dialogue and you know, that's why you didn't uh, why you didn't say the line? All right, Frieza. <sighs> yeah, I'm not gonna last long here, buddy. You gotta ow 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 ow. ow. All right, and then. Oh, that's right, Kami's still alive, because Piccolo's on Namek with Gohan, that's right. Oh, wait. That's right, we have all the Z fighters here. So, wait, are they not gonna have me go Super Saiyan at all? Yeah, because I would imagine, yeah, this Spirit Bomb would be much stronger than the main Timeline one, because, ow, ow, Frieza, calm down, I'm trying to focus here on the actual thing. Because, yeah, this Spirit Bomb would... In theory, be much stronger than the one on Nana because obviously he has the Earth Sun, all the Earth people, and the actual Z fighters. Versus in the main timeline, the he, Goku had to draw from the surrounding planets and then just Goku, Gohan, and Piccolo. Yeah, this Spear Bomb would, yeah, in theory, be stronger. So, question is, is it strong enough to actually kill Frieza? I'd imagine so. Let's find out. Let us find out. Sparking episode. What does that mean? Does that mean I got like this super secret cutscene? Oh, hello. Oh, I actually swapped to uh, first person. Huh, this is so cool. I'm first person Goku charging up the spirit. Oh. This was cool. Wait. What? Oh, Piccolo, go on. You guys are finally here. Piccolo! Yeah, what you guys on, Nanak? I thought they were taking... Wait. Wait a minute, I thought these guys were on Nanak. Or am I missing something? Unless Frieza sent soldiers to Nanak as well, and then Piccolo and go off to tear of them. Oh, boy. This is so cool. I'm sitting here as Goku holding up the spear bomb. Wait, if I, wait, if I stay like this as Goku, am I, just, am I gonna throw the spear bomb? Oh, I am. That is so cool. That is so cool. I'm Goku throwing the spear bomb. Okay, and there's Frieza catching it. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, yeah, this is easily the best part of Sparking Zero, the first person mode for stuff like this. This is so cool. 
Okay, Frieza gets hit. But... Would this... Is this... Wait, what happened? Okay, we got our flashback. Where's the helper friend? Joke seriously, seriously, with a spear. Oh, he actually won. Oh, this spear bomb. Okay, like again, like I was kind of saying, yeah, this spear bomb would be much stronger than the one he used in the main timeline. And even then, like Frieza said, in the main timeline, he almost died to that spear bomb. So yeah, if it was a little bit stronger like this one was, it would have worked. And it did this time. That's awesome. Oh. Oh, okay, that, that explains. Yeah, the aerodynamic, use the dragon was to wish himself back, and then obviously help out. Oh, and then they bring Dende with them. That, wait, why did they bring Dende with them? They have Kami. I, was saying, I, I guess in case, because obviously Kami's looking to retire. Aw, come on, Vegeta. We can't be friends, dude. We spent time in the gravity chamber and everything. Why can't we be friends? Okay, bye, Vegeta. You know, Yamcha, it's probably a good thing you didn't invite him to the victory party because you probably would have stolen Bulma from you there. <laughs> you know, that's probably a bullet dodge, Yamcha. That's probably a big bullet dodge for you, buddy. <laughs> so, what, yeah, Frieza's dead. Where does this go from here? And like you said, who knows? Because I imagine Jiro still building the androids and everything. Don't scare me like that, Goku. Yeah, this is yeah, this is so cool going for a person. At the very least. Frieza and his army won't be a threat to Yeah, Frieza, Earth. okay, so I guess, yeah, they took uh, yeah, all of Frieza's army then, that's awesome. I, doubt it'll be anytime soon. I don't know, I don't know, Piccolo, I imagine yeah. Vegeta probably lives here on well, Earth now, so... You guys, but I'm totally so they're starving up, that's our Goku. Thanks to the bravery of Goku and the others, Frieza is defeated. The planet Earth and the yep, whole and galaxy are at peace. So wait, now. is this the end of the what if? Because I don't remember him... The narrator coming in the for the uh, won, end of the Saiyan saga at all. Are far from over, for there are many other fearsome folk for Goku and the rest of us. This is saga continues. Okay, so yeah, where did it go from here? Oh, that's the end of it. That's the end of this road. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, well that's. That's the end of this road. I imagine this is obviously not the end of Goku's story. Because I imagine it goes through all the major events all the way to determine a power. So I imagine I have to go back to the Raditz fight. To, you know, do it differently with like Piccolo and whatnot. And unlock the other what ifs. Which I will do next time. So stay tuned for that. I will upload that episode probably next Saturday. So stay tuned for that. So with that all said, hope you guys have enjoyed. Stay tuned for more Sparking Zero content because there's plenty more to come. I'll probably try to do some online battles in between here just to help improve my skills. But outside of that, hope you guys have enjoyed. And of course, if you are enjoying Sparking Zero yourself, leave a comment down below what your favorite part of the game is. And with that all said, hope to you all. See you all next time for Tuesday's episode of my Pokemon Platinum Extreme Randomized Nuzlocke. I'll see you all next time. Peace.